Friday's edition of AEW Rampage was the lowest rated AEW show of all time and we asked the question, how low can you go? Well, that question got answered only 24 hours later as AEW break their record and a record that they probably didn't want to break and they didn't have to wait long to break it. 24 hours later, AEW Collision records the lowest feud AEW televised show of all time. Welcome back guys to Fog Wrestling. We said things weren't looking good for Tony Khan yesterday. I mean, they're looking a hell of a lot worse for him today. They are looking worse for him today. We said he's going up against the Olympics. Well, turns out the thing he beats the Olympics in his record lows. Yep. Not record highs, not <laughs> record times, record lows. The high jump isn't Tony Khan's uh, favourite game, but when it comes to the low jump, when it comes to crawling around in the basement bargain numbers, then he's pretty good at that. This week's collision for August Ford doing 189,000 fewers. What the hell is going on? Yeah, what the hell is going on? I mean, come on, this was unthinkable, all right? Because I looked at Rampage, obviously it's the worst show, obviously it gets worse ratings, right? Yes, this was going up against SummerSlam, this was going up, but it was actually a special time slot, by the way, to facilitate uh, SummerSlam. Yeah, they, they moved it to try and, you know, do, like, stop the damage, try and prevent the damage that SummerSlam what was going to do. What would it have been if they put it on during SummerSlam? Yeah, if this went head-to-head -head with SummerSlam, what, what would it have done? I do not know, but 189... Thousand fuels. That is absolutely abysmal. It is down fifty one percent from last week. We're get, we're have we ever it. have we ever seen a wrestling show lose more than half the audience? That this is the first time I can ever recall it losing more than half. Fifty one percent last week was three hundred eighty two thousand. This week one hundred eighty nine thousand. I've never seen a wrestling show lose more than half its audience. Without a drastic channel change, no, we've never seen it. Uh, I think this is one of a kind. I mean, I mean, obviously, I think in the early days of Fox, they went to Fox Sports 1 and they literally lost about 3 million viewers. But uh, yeah, that's but different. That is, a, that is a channel change. This is this is just simply a disaster. I mean, there's a reason why I read through the spoilers on Thursday of this show. <laughs> sure as hell I wasn't going to watch it. We weren't going to watch it. Um, honestly, we've seen them cancel Collision in the past because of Saturdays. Why not just cancel, cancel it, it permanently? I know, why not cancel it permanently? Or do something about it, like, you know what I mean? Like, legit try and fucking make it good or something. I mean, he has to, what is Tony, what's he playing at? Yeah. What's the end game for, I mean, what, is he going to just keep this airing and, until there literally is nobody left watching? Because, I mean, you, you could be at that, you could be at those crossroads sooner rather than later. Well, we're talking, this show is sinking. And yeah, you know what, next week I'll probably go back up, but... They can't be affording to lose fuels. The numbers that bad to begin with. You're not starting off at a decent slot here. You know it's, it's bad enough as it is without coming up against extra competition. What did Dynamite do? Six hundred and nine or something. Six, six, seven, six, six, seven, six or something. I mean, you're looking at three AW shows scraping a million in a week combined. Come on, it's not good. No, it's not good. No, yeah. Uh, it's really not good. He needs to scrap this show. Yeah, so... Well, I would actually argue he needs to... I would scrap Rampage and just move Collision to Friday. Because obviously Collision just feels like it's got more prestige than Rampage. That's what I would do. Yeah, also, I think that you could probably put Collision on to come straight after SmackDown. Because I think that was helping Rampage at first. I remember when they first brought Rampage out and it was airing as soon as SmackDown finished. It was kind of giving them a Big Bang Theory-esque... Um, push at the beginning, not because it was on the same channel, but because on a Friday night, the, the, the people that are sitting and watching Smackdown, that audience is sitting in front of their TV, so that meant as soon as Smackdown's over, you've got a perfect opportunity for them to just turn over and watch your show. So, yeah, I mean, it, it did make sense, but, I mean, I, I just don't, I don't know where the Tony Khan goes for him. I think the problem with that is, though, um, you've got to look at other things such as Rampage is an R, uh, so... If you're going after SmackDown, it's two hours with Collision. So instead of, you know, ending at 10, well, 11 in uh, Rampage's case, Collision would be ending at 12. And I think 12's too late for the Americans. Here in UK, I mean, that would be, like, what, ending at 5? Fuck, I, w I wish we could watch wrestling shows that finished at 12. I know. How great would that be? But it doesn't work like that here, but 
it, obviously nothing works like that here. I think this this is the ratings will obviously go up next week, but it's a trend. Look at SmackDown, right? As bad as WWE can be, they actually went up in the ratings as a as I touched on earlier on today on the channel, up six percent. What's kill? What is the, what is their actual excuse? Especially more with Rampage, at least here, they've got the SummerSlam and the Olympics double whammy, but I didn't expect it to. I mean, 50-odd percent. Yeah, 51 percent loss. That is absolutely crazy. Um, and the key demo went down to 0 0.08, 33 percent lost in the key demo. So a third of the 18 to 49 audience tuning out and over half of the normal, you know, all-in audience, all-in, <laughs> never mind all-in, I think everyone's all out at this point, and not, hardly anybody's watching it, and, and you look at the clips, just nothing spectacular, the patriarchy, AW World Trio champs confronted big, by Big Bang Theory, that was the highest viewed clip, but, I mean, you, you go down the list here, and you've got the Ring of Honor champions, Dustin Rhodes and the Fon Erics, trust in Sammy Guevara, the returning Sammy Guevara, 42,000 views after nearly three days. I mean, not to brag like, but we've had a few feds that have got like 42,000 views after three days. So what are Collision doing? What's AEW doing? I, I said this, right? Well, what is the hype with the Fawn Erics? If, no. if the family was that good, they wouldn't be eight on Collision. Yeah. show sure that they're 189,000 People views. were saying that the hologram was drawing. Oh, hologram made his debut. This week, after three days, he's got 45,000 views taking on the legendary Mystico. Look at that. How can you take on a legend and then get 45,000 views? See the fact he's got 45,000 views. Well, he teamed up with Mystico, but the fact they've got 45... I mean, look at that. It's Hologram, who's apparently the new biggest draw, teaming up with the legendary Mystico to take on premier athletes. There's nothing premier about them, and there's certainly nothing legendary about Mystico. 45,000 views tells you all you need to know. The, the Proto Star versus the Machine. What the hell's what's a Proto Star? Better the prototype, but Proto Star. Anyway, guys, AEW in the mud. I've been saying this for a while, but I mean, it is true. Tony Khan, he needs to sign Shane McMahon. Show him the money. Here comes the money. Here comes Shane. And with that, you'll probably get a lot See of unless Shane ratings. McMahon jumps off 40 foot buildings on each show. What are they doing? What are they doing? But yeah, guys, worst ever viewership for any show in AEW history. Things are not looking good. We'll catch you in the next one. Leave a like. Till next time, though. Peace.